Today is now 14 January 2023. Happy New Year for La Republic Terrorism. Yeah, Marvel. I think we can keep the question of decoding the Amazonian conflict for another time because that is a, a, a thing we need to educate our people to understand what are we facing, who are we facing, where and how. Because facing the NATO alliance that is against us through La Republic that has offered themselves as slaves to deal with their own brothers, Africans. It's a different board game when you move from one to the other. You would notice that France has a strong influence over Quebec. All of us remember the statement of uh, de Gaulle when he visited Quebec, which was tantamount to encouraging treason against Canada by Quebec. Now, when I had the opportunity to talk to the uh, SD, the HD in Switzerland, the desk officer who was handling the process for them, he told me that France had offered to finance the mediation process that they were handling, and they refused, that they preferred Canada. And I asked him, what's the difference between Quebec and France? He told me that he would stop the discussion there and get his boss to continue with me. So we are joined. So it is a mafia because they need our resources. We don't have the might, the military might to face the NATO alliance. We must be smart. We must give an alternative offer without losing our identity because we are fighting to restore and secure and sustain our identity as a people and the identity and security of the nation that we belong to, which is distinct and different from the Republic of Cameroon, which even to your brother from the same womb to trick you that there is any link legal or constitutional between the Republic and us. They are a force of occupation. But to get out of a trap, you need to oil your neck so that you can slide out. And the oiling of the neck, after you have been kept for almost 60 years, requires that you oil, you, you scrape your hair all over your body and oil yourself, not only with oil, but with cream, because we are battling at every corner. We need to be able to use what they call division of labor. Those who are in America, we will have a common agenda that we should draw up. Those who are in America will be facing North America. Those in Europe will be facing Europe. Those in Africa, we can split them into three, four regions. They face Africa. Especially in this United States, because all of Europe looks up to America. So if each of us, who is a, an Amazonian American, talk to your congressman, talk to your senator, we don't have money to pay the lobbyists. And the lobbyists are not honest themselves most of the time. They go for the highest bidder. I can tell you, when Sako declared himself president, there's a lobby firm on K Street that invited me. I had a two-hour meeting with them. 
and they asked me to sign that I will accept to become a leader to replace Sako, and they will choke Sako out because they have all his dirty files. And I said, I don't play dirty. If you hang a Southern Cameroonian, I will bury him because he's a, an Amazonian. So I ditched them after I had sucked their information. They respect me for that, and they have told me this. This is the way we need to operate. And our women, they are a resource we cannot fool around with. These women are spiritually attuned to deliver, but they need direction. Because those who sleep and fall in wrong hands, they are a greater danger to us than the entire world. I've received copies of insults that are thrown to genuine people who are contributing to educating the, the public, our public about our situation. And I felt really, really sad because some of these people, I had actually interacted with them during the APNC. And I'm shocked to my bones that they could make such a turn and collaborate with young people who were groomed when their mind was still very fertile. Their political bones actually ossified in the chambers of the CPDN. And they got themselves exported here and they have continued in the CPDN methodology by aligning with people who are in power and offering themselves to be used. There's no way you can be a YCPDN president and you come here and you are operating with people who say that they cannot ditch Cameroon as their friends. And you go to Cameroon, you set up an NGO that needs clearance in the Ministry of Territory Administration, and it goes through within a year. I have operated since 1989, the Human Rights Clinic and Education Center. I have a relationship with Human Rights Watch, Amnesty International, many other organizations. The Ministry of Territory Administration has never listened to me. They have considered the fact that I educate the community and they stand up to the deals as a danger. So anybody, who dines with the enemy, don't call him black leg, don't call, he is a leakage in your calabash. You cannot fetch the water of freedom with such people. And we need to politely tell them to step aside. Me, uh, to politely me, tell them to step aside, thank you.